Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the end times in paradise in Garfield, Texas here on Friday, November 2nd, 2018 and the sun is starting to go down and I am finally making it out to the garden. So this is week four report. It was 28 days ago that I uh, planted my winter garden. Look at this, already got more potatoes from last spring. All right, so the, uh, man, the, oh, the sun's getting in the way. I better turn around the other way. The garlic and onions are absolutely gorgeous. Four weeks. Now we have our first bad news out of the garden. And I'm gonna turn this bad news over to brother Michael Daniel. We seem to uh, be infested with these damn leaf cutter ants. The leaf cutter ants, uh, you, you can't see them walking around in here. And uh, they have pretty much taken out my spinach. They seem to uh, be going for the spinach. Uh, the other thing is they're going for green lettuce. I, I planted this salad bowl mixture of lettuce uh, that had five different kinds of lettuce seeds. Four, there were four green and one red lettuce. And it looks like the, uh, the leaf cutter ants have gone along and picked out all the green lettuces. Looks like I have one little green lettuce surviving. I'm sur I guess they've missed it. But uh, I started out with five kinds of lettuce, four of which were green, and I have all red lettuce. So leaf cutter ants do not like red lettuce. I wish you guys could see these little bastards. But uh, the spinach, they have a taste for spinach. They have completely wiped out my uh, spinach crop. But apparently uh, leaf cutter ants have no appetite for mustard and turnip greens. So my main job here today is uh, I get to murder my darling. So I came by, it was two weeks ago, I came by and uh, thinned all of my mustards and turnips down to uh, two every six inches. So now I'm just gonna go along and murder my darlings. And uh, so I'm gonna go along and uh, pick out uh, one, pick out the healthiest, biggest plant every six inches it does hurt to murder your darlings i know so uh when i finish my uh rows i'm gonna have see both of these are so gorgeous this really hurts me to do this oh well someone's gotta die i'm actually gonna eat these tonight so when i finish uh i will have one little bowl of mustard and turnip greens here on day 28 and i'll have my first meal i don't know what's causing those little holes in the leaves i don't like that but uh man look at those little mustard plants all right what's going on with the collards collards i'm having somewhat spotty i'm a little bit suspicious of these damn grasshoppers I have about half my collards coming up, so I'm going to overseed the collards. I don't know, they're looking pretty good. There are my little collard greens. So uh, i got to do a little bit of overseeding on the collards. How about the broccolis? Yeah, the broccoli's looking pretty good. Coming along. All right, got my broccolis, and I got to take the cilantros down, these beautiful little baby cilantros. I've taken them down to two, so I've got to do them. 
And look at these, look at these snow peas, guys. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I mean, 28 days, and these things are some happy little peas climbing up. So I got to get thin in my greens, and uh, Michael, uh, we need to get busy on the, uh, we need to get busy on these leaf cutter ants. <sighs> but so far, all I've lost is my spinach. Anyway, guys, you know what you need to do. You need to get out there and enjoy it while you still can. And this is ham bone green jeans back to the garden. Bye, guys.